I legitimately have. I legitimately have goosebumps. I actually have them. It's unbelievable. Wow. Dude, I will take this to the grave. This is absolutely. I've thank you. A very long time. Thanks so much, man. I really, I really appreciate it. I feel like I've just had a crash course in brain surgery, and now I'm confident with the scalpel. That's what this thing feels like. Yeah. Okay. 
okay. it will do amazingly on the track, yeah. but it's not the best track car. You know, okay. the suspension yeah. is soft, uh -huh. it takes all the bumps, it's a good cruiser. But as a road car? I mean, yeah, as, as a road car. Phenomenal. But when you go to the track, it's like, like a, bit a bump. Sloppy. A bit sloppy. It, it turns, yeah. it rotates, yeah. Yeah, it, it okay. moves about. Sure. But on, on any gear, like now you're on 16, I can't believe you, know, you, could, you could go from 30 miles an hour to 240 miles an hour. In six. In, in, in six, one gear. In one gear. So it's like, it's probably the only car other than the Regera that would do something. Do that. But yeah. that doesn't have any gears. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, and it's naturally aspirated as well. It is. This right now is the road spec version. It's like almost as it was from factory, right? It is as it is from factory. So really, it's in, a, in its sort of GT spec. Yeah. It's got even got customized luggage to match, which makes it incredibly practical. So either side on the the external of the car, there are these side pods where the sort of bespoke luggage bits. There's like a loads suit. of it. Actually, yeah. you know, it comes with a with an auto glim luggage mm -hmm. set that is wrapped in the same leather as the car. It has the chassis number of the car. Yeah, and it has like auto glim. You know, polish and wash and shampoo wow. and all the Fabulous stuff that thing. you want to use on yourself rather than <laughs> a car type of thing. Like six pieces. Yeah. You yeah. know, today no one. Yeah. You know, you barely get the car cover with the car. No. You barely get Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, it's and like, then, you it's find like they're throwing, doing you a favor. Yeah, yeah. They, and they're throwing it in the like the, yeah. the passenger seat. Yeah. It's not fitted where the car sits. No. You know, the, the toolkit by itself is in an image from the video we filmed a few days ago and uh, like and you say that, that in itself is a work of art and that's the portable toolkit yeah, yeah. there's the big toolkit is there really i think you can dismantle the whole car and, and wow. rebuild it wow and so they send one of their you know top mechanics yeah who will you come work fly your... wherever the car is yes and can do a full service on the car with that kit without with that kit you know like jay leno he's in the okay. state yeah it doesn't make any sense to send the car from Sure. Just for a fuel person. tank change or a yeah, yeah, clutch yeah. change. Yeah. But it's easier to send, you know, one of the mechanics over there. Yes. He has a workshop. Yes. He, you know, it's a, I think it's a four or six volt, you know, thing uh -huh. to remove the engine from the back. Yes. And get things done. Good Lord, I, I, do you know what? I'm aware of it in myself, like in my own being, what a, what an occasion this is. But right? it's not a nice feeling. It's like almost not. Time, it's not a nice feeling. It's almost not.
said, you know, back a, a Walkman. Yes. And they said it can't be done. They said, no, 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 no you no, have no, to make it. We have to make it. And they research and develop. Yes. I don't know how long. So that Just to they make can it. make it. And hence, it's in the car. It's in the car. We have a 10 disc CD uh, changer, which we filled up yesterday with 10 discs. Yes. We have um, a little bit, two more that we couldn't fit. We do, yeah. But I love it when we stop this car to fill up with fuel. I find myself opening all the little nooks and crannies, looking in the front. The gold components on the engine are just obscene. It's, it's the thing that people know most yes. about. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's, I've been around the car for some time, yeah. and I kid you not, every time I open it's just and look at it, I feel like, experience. you know, a kid in front of a chocolate box, when your parents <laughs> tell you you cannot have it, it's like you're drooling all over it, yeah. and you want to like steal one. Yeah. But as soon as you put your hand out, you get the <laughs> smack. craziest <laughs> smack on your hand. That's just the most. <laughs> Honestly, I know, I know, guys. I know that I'm all about like you know thrashing cars, etc. If we haven't explained in enough over the last few videos about this car, I implore you to go and Google this and just research the significance of it and why it is widely acknowledged as one of, if not, the best supercar well, ever made. The easy way you can look at a couple of videos on YouTube. Yeah. You know, the, about the McLaren F1. There are a couple yeah. of documentaries, old documentaries. Yeah. But, like, you can never watch enough yeah. F1 videos. Absolutely. I've been dreaming about this for... But this car... I had 1995? Yeah. Forget what, you know, forget the whole three seat layout and, and even how good its components are. This car, in terms of its story and its history, will never happen again. You're never gonna get a Le Mans car for the road ever again. You know? And the change between the road car and the Le Mans car mm. is very minimal. Mm. It's suspension. Yeah. Well, like you said, Some they literally kit. drove it home from Le Mans and went shopping on the way home. Yeah. Like, Are they that much? We're in the realm. 